mushroom cloud snakes skyward, hurling the atom's deadly radiation high into the heavens. So let's uh, be a little quantitative here. Suppose we take a sample of gas at one atmosphere pressure and 25 degrees C, and it's got a volume of about a liter. So I brought something here we can do this with. Your average latex glove. Hopefully it doesn't have any powder on it. I hate powdered gloves. So we'll use this as a, that's about a liter, I guess. And the gas in here is, uh-oh, so much for that. Sharp nails, I guess. The gas in here is just air. Note that it doesn't make any difference what the gas is because uh, Charles' law applies equally to all gases. This better work because I only brought two. Oh, if you think tying balloons is hard, you should try one of these suckers. Oh man, I won't be able to do this. So I'll talk while I do this. So what I'm going to do is uh, trap some gas in this balloon. It looks like about a liter that I have in here. And I'm going to change the temperature and we're going to observe a change in volume, hopefully, which will coincide with what Charles Law tells us. You know, when you get your little finger stuck in the hole there, ah, there we go, ah, there we go. This thing is really tough. Okay, so that's about a liter of air stuck in this balloon. Now, suppose you did the following experiment. Suppose you were to cool it to minus 196 degrees C. How are you going to do that? Well, minus 196 degrees C just happens to be the boiling point of nitrogen, so you could do this by pouring liquid nitrogen on it. So put this under the camera here. There we go. So I've got it sitting in another Dewar flask so I can pour the liquid nitrogen over this and some of it will fall inside and we'll see what, uh, see what happens to the volume of this thing. First of all, the, the rubber gets kind of brittle. So sometimes it goes bang. You can probably see better from where you're sitting that this is shrinking than from the camera angle. Okay, so I've cooled the gas that's in there to minus 196 degrees C, so according to Charles' law, it should shrink, and it did, of course. There's just as much air in there as there was before, but the volume has shrunk considerably. And if you look, yeah, I hope I can show this under the camera. If we look under the camera there, you might be able to see down here, I can see it quite clearly, but I don't think it'll show up on the camera, that we've actually managed to liquefy some of the air that was in the fingers of this glove. It's disappeared. Let's do it again. <laughs> so I don't really mean to liquefy it for the purposes of Charles Law. We're only talking about gases, not liquids here, but it's really cool when it's a liquid, so I'm going to show you that anyway. And you can see that this is infinitely reversible as long as you've got lots of liquid nitrogen. You can do this again and again. Uh, where are we? Here. No, it's not really showing up very clearly in there, but maybe if I hold it up here, you can actually see some liquid in the fingers that, oh, it's going to burst, I know it's going to burst. So it's infinitely reversible. If I cool it, it shrinks, the volume decreases, and if I warm it, it should come right back to where it was, assuming the glove is pliable enough. There it's, yeah, it's thawed out now. And that's, you can do that as many times as you like. So Charles Law says that if you cool the balloon to half its temperature, then um, you should go to half the volume.